Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Audi e-tron GT RS. This is the new top performance electric car from Audi. So we're gonna take an in-depth tour of the exterior, interior details, infotainment. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. It's gonna be future videos, of course. Uh, and without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So here is the new gorgeous uh, RS e-tron GT or the e-tron gt rs um, let me show you the first the key so we got a really elegant key from audi rs logo on the back has a little bit weight to it feels nice and quality made you have the lock unlock button and twice to unlock the cargo or open it so let's unlock this baby so you can see those beautiful um these are matrix led plus laser light so these are the upgraded option so uh, what do we have here we have um, the top spec now I'm gonna be honest uh, I've reviewed so many cars so with the electric cars there's always a few power options so I'm gonna just check the spec so we have a maximum horsepower or maximum power is 475 kilowatts 646 horsepower Minimum is 142 kilowatts or 193 horsepower. Battery has 85 uh, usable kilowatts, kilowatt hours, and we have a VLTP 472 range. More realistic is 405. We have um, Tango red metallic color, black interior, some options like acoustic front windows, thermo is isolated. Um, so we have 21 inch alloys, black optic package, um, red calipers, um, carbon fiber atlas inserts, and um, carbon rooftop, microfiber, um, ambient lights, RS design, all of that. This is the total price in Croatia with taxes. This is 180,000 euros. So with the specs out of the way, let's check this gorgeous, gorgeous beauty. Now I've put the sticker on the top to cover the light sensor so I can show you the um, gimmick car makes. So let's come up a little bit closer and check these laser lights. So the laser is the long beam, uh, the standard is the just matrix LED. I really love how Audi creates all those details inside. So the laser has this blue elements inside so that's how you know it's laser. You have a fog light well there's a lot of reflection let me see if i can come to the other side so that is your fog light cornering and then you have a projector in the middle it's hard to see and then you have the lens so once again if i use the key you're gonna see those that gimmick and now you can see Audi laser light inside so a very gorgeous looking now what I really like about this car is the aerodynamics you have side tunneling also good for aerodynamics and cooling the brakes we have air intake on the bottom and some coolers this is for the battery management system you have radars system and uh, aid systems you have parking sensors we have a black mask and the black grill part of the uh, oh look at this <laughs> um, so we have a, a front camera 180 degrees fish eye lens so a lot of dynamic in this car very interesting very Audi like sharp lines gorgeous design coming to the side we have um, 21 inch if I'm not mistaken alloys so these are good year and these are for electric for the rest uh, excuse me less uh, resistance when driving so they give you more range and looking for tire dimensions these are 265 35 or 21 I have big um, Audi red calipers really big discs a lot of power you need a lot of stopping power as well uh, also, this is all-wheel drive. You have two electric motors, one on the front and rear, and it has an air suspension. Now, what's also interesting is there's 
this air tunneling on the side look at that very sportive now you have on the both sides chargers so the car probably locked itself automatically but if i unlock it then you can hear that click so you have two charging ports on both sides this is the type 2 this is for ac this is for slow charging on the other side you have also type 2 and ccs for fast charging we have elegant mirrors black contrast also 360 parking system i guess uh, another camera wide angle looking at the front beautiful speakers there's a lot of uh, alcantara inside so here you have the camera and you have the light center but i covered it to show the gimmick from the rear that's the only way, to, only, way, only way to fool the car now looking at this beautiful red color it's metallic it really looks beautiful on the sun or the light and then this contrasting carbon fiber roof just <laughs> adds more sportiness to the car of course we got the black trim around the car and we have this skirt so there's a lot of character in this car and we have here a ppf protection for the ship stones even here i have a little this is rubber by the way again another look of this gorgeous alloys these are optional and then we have this for the regulations fender sticking out a bit but you can see all those sharp lines on the car very elegant looking at the back there's a spoiler that comes up for better um, downforce and check out these lights so these lights are looking amazing and now i can use the key to unlock them and this is the reason why i've stick those papers so there you go that's pretty cool but you know what else is cool so this is a sports car so it has a stoplight in the middle here i'm gonna show you that later so look at just the stance of the car is gorgeous it looks amazing and then this diffuser to tunnel the air if i come a little bit closer all black amazing looking a black rs badge and look at this 3d design of the car lights so there's a lot of love put it into this design another camera led license plates and then e-tron gt labeling have a big stoplight on the rear now when we saw everything let's pop up the trunk hold it twice and just one more look to those 3d lights looking gorgeous now uh, put a little note here so we have 405 liters in the cargo area trunk and then 85 liters on the front combined it's 490 liters so it opens fairly tall and it is very wide so that's practical and there's easy access it'd be cooler if it would open it with a glass it was a hatch or lift back but it is what it is you have aluminum doorstep protection here you have a deep storage area on the side whoa so for some reason the car decided to close up on me that was not cool again um so over here a large storage space we have a 12 volt outlet uh same over here and we have a little net we have a additional space here for your cargo net or maybe cables and then if we look you can knock down the seat 60 40 and the middle opening as well have two leds on the top and you have a grocery hook very practical and then in this bag you get you get well you get your type 2 charging cable for public charging stations you get your home charger or a three-phase industrial outlet you can close at the top you can probably program the height as well and then you can lock it very silent when closing you can see the spoiler details on the inside 
Now, there's a speaker on the back as well with a top tether point. So, standard, of course, tinted rear windows. So, uh, all door handles have this to lock if you have a key in your pocket or to uh, touch from the inside to unlock. You can also hear the charging ports unlocking as well. So, very good closing and opening sound. These are frameless windows, so watch they come down a little bit. Takes like a second. So the rear door is open fairly wide. So if you have kids, you have here tether points. So watch not to lose these. Um, so checking the seals, you have seals here. Audi is always good with this. So nice seal on the inside, another seal here, one here, then an extra seal here. And the reason for this is it's ending with a rear fender. So with the arch, now you can push here a key and turn it if you want to lock. So let me just put this rubber back if you want to lock it from the inside for the kids. Looking at the materials, this is kind of stiff. It's actually hard plastic, but covered with this really expensive leather that feels nice and soft to the touch. Red contrast stitching. Have some Alcantara, aluminum door handle. So this is soft on the bottom. This is padded and this is padded. And there's some really high quality plastic. We have a large speaker, another one on the bottom. So these are the Bang & Olufsen dual light red and white and then we have another white light we also have ambient lights underneath so if you can see here there's like two speakers really elegant now we have also black doorstep aluminum doorstep with illumination have an ac on the bottom if you didn't notice now they really added a lot of space inside uh, considering this is an electric vehicle this is a huge plus but there's a transmission tone for some reason probably that's where they squeeze the batteries now the seats go nice and down upwards well, very high quality made and i really like this red contrast stitching seat belt i have this to align the seat belt seat belt buckles uh, you can raise this uh, and you can press here to knock down the seat so let me see if it, it's gonna knock down it's probably gonna be a little hard there you go so that's the way it looks if you knock it down it's almost flat here but you have this area going down might have forgot here you have tether points on all, all four sides you can see one over there so you're good and look at this this is also uh, alcantaric uh, the roof as well, the roof is very soft and you have that to the point over there. So now I'll have to push back the seat a little bit because th this car has easy entry so it's going to back the seat up when you're coming inside. There we go. Also interesting you have an airbag here so this area doesn't fall down with the seat. Now I'm gonna attempt to sit inside. So let's see if there's gonna be a problem for a tall person. So, not a huge problem. Although this went up. So plenty of feet room. And there's a nice design here so you can have plenty of room for your knees. Now let's hear the closing sound very solid and to show you the headspace so if I'm straighten up I'm missing because of the sloping roof but if I was an average person I would fit I would still be touching but there you go but two meters tall so uh, usually it's a little problem on the back um, small windows on the end very narrow you do have this little one view on the back so Let's see here. So you have to 
press this one to unlock. And we have here adjustable cup holders. This is rubbery. And over here, pull this, then you can knock down this, and then you can have middle ski opening if you want that. So the rear headrest, I believe they are adjustable, but when the car is new, some things are really stiff uh, until you work them out. Uh, a little stiff, this is as well. So I, I would say this is a four person seat. Although I really like, this really looks comfy. They really add a lot of cushions. And I really like the design of the doors. Uh, slowly closing, we have here LED lights, uh, a little hook. And look at this, they try to maximize the space, even on the front. I also have a hook here, adjustable uh, front seat belts. But look at this, this is probably the tallest sports seat I've ever seen. And this is fixed, so. And on the bottom, we have the, let me just open the door, share some light inside. So we have, uh, AC vents for the rear passengers as well on the bottom. Have fog uh, illumination and ambient light. So these lights uh, change colors. And we have the heated seats on the rear and climate control. Nothing on the bottom, nothing over here. So, oh, actually, excuse me. So uh, there are two USB Cs for fast charging underneath. So it's practical. Thumbs up for this. So, I believe a lot of reviewers will miss this detail. Now, coming to the front. Now, not to miss. So, in the mirrors, you have a physical blind spot. You have the turn signal facing the driver. So, we're just going to leave the keys inside. Now, the front doors open even wider. So, practical. We have the e-tron GT uh, logo on the bottom. Same materials out on the front. Uh, this flashes red when the car is locked. And there is your double glazed front window for a better soundproof inside the car, especially when there's trucks, lorry, semis passing next to you. I really like how this goes inside. You have this carbon fiber option. Unlock a lock from the inside. These are your memory seat positions. You have a speaker here, one on the bottom, Bang and Olsen. And you have all those ambient lights. You can pop the trunk from the rear. From the driver position, you have your reflective vest here and rubber mat. So this is soft, this is soft. On the top, it's hard, but this one's also soft. So, and this button is to pop the frunk so there you go tire pressure information is here usually have to have a higher tire pressure on the back for stability and then looking at the front really gorgeous rs logo that's illuminated black i really like this in black rather than silver sport aluminium pedals one speed automatic for electric cars uh, over here we have touch lights, so you actually press them in, so it's cool. You can see on the top it turns on automatic off. They illuminate when you approach, and then you have the front and rear fog. Also very nice ambient lights there. Seats, so look at these seats, they really are something. Very nicely profiled, big bolsters on the top and the bottom. Uh, so this extends, this is electronic, so you can see that. This is for the up and down. This is for the back and forward, up, down. And then this one's um, for the tilt. And this is, of course, your uh, lumbar support, so four controls. Usually there's like three, but this one's for the uh, knee area. Nice pattern, periphery down the middle, and RS, so really interesting looking. I don't think they're adjustable, I tried it, but 
there's nothing here that would suggest it's adjustable and this is for uh, this is electronic so for up and down and let's hop inside I think I showed you all the details so the car is low because it's a sports car so uh, might be a little problem to enter let's hear the closing sound very nice and I'm gonna switch to the wide lens show you the cockpit um, just a second excuse me so there we go this will be your point of view driving uh, perspective subscribe in the future maybe this car they said they will register it after the summer so I'll see if I can get it for a test in really nice interior for an electric car expected from Audi now the steering wheel is almost like uh, this almost like um, straight up it doesn't have an angle but it is nice for if rated leather look at that it has this tips here so very sport looking flat bottom red cons for stitching rs badge following the front hood and then you have sport paddles for recuperation um, view menus press return and then heated that steering wheel voice commands phone calls a volume press to mute and change radio stations have a little exhaust there we have also a blind spot warning so we have a speaker over here look at that so wow now you have another speaker on the eight pillar which is really big and um so I, I like the fact there's a lot of design here now that's my new tesla and i went for the minimalist design i like minimalist but i also like this audi design this is wow i believe the heads up uh is optional it was inspected on this model another speaker here air vent also air vent over there so another speaker there same pattern and we have a nice dash so in this one it was picked carbon fiber but honestly, when I saw their wood trim and their textile, it looks like IKEA furnishment. I think I would personally expect something like that, but we all have different uh, taste opinions. We have a touchscreen, MMI, and the virtual cockpit, very nice and big. e thrown that lens up. Some ambient light, I'm gonna show you that. Air vents, so they're classical air vents, so you can see that. And then we have classical air vents on the bottom. So, and also something I really like is you have physical buttons. And so we have here um, ventilated heated seats, maximum blow rear. But we're going to cover this later. And on the bottom we have drive select. So uh, traction control off hazards. I like the fact you can see them, but you can. Oh, you can hear them now. Uh, parking camera, self parking turn off on the screen this is interesting these are touch buttons uh, there's like few there's like park aids and cameras start stop parking reverse neutral drive this is really nice it has a nice feeling and it's not loud a little rubber here maybe for your key actually like over right here okay uh, this is for the volume turn on the MMI Press to mute, adjustable cup holders, very practical, like this Alcantara, some leather, and over here, a little uh, smaller uh, storage area, but also practical, so there's a rubber here, so you can put your phone here, see, you can see my fingers going inside, um, there is a 12 volt outlet, and uh, there are two USB-C's, so it's a little bit dark. Um, I don't think there's a light here, so. So there's no armrest that's big that you can adjust or something. And I'll just show you this. So you can actually lock, excuse me, you can lock this with a physical key. Slowly opening, nice felt. You can put a pen here. So let me just see how much space is in there. So white light, I have air bag the front passenger so there's kind of some space here but not a lot so get your audi book 
some other paperwork stuff for the delivery of the car. Just to put that back inside. It's not cooled, unfortunately. And to wrap it in the interior, looking up, we have a nice baseless mirror. It's a little bit uh, limited view on the rear because it's really narrow. It's a good view on the sides and the side mirrors. But you have that 360 camera system, so it shouldn't be a problem. You have LED lights on the top, emergency call, um, and this is for the rear. I guess. Actually, let me see here. Nope. Oh, this is just to turn all the lights on. And I think there's like a little light here projecting on the bottom, and you have here uh, airbag uh, information and passenger seat belts. Also, Alcantara nice it doesn't extend this is shining and that's it and you have the horrible printing on both sides how they made it so soft wow huh okay so let's turn on the electronics for the interesting part the rear system warning limited performance okay um there was this was lit up continue as guess you can see it now so these are just test lights now, um, because I put those papers on the top sensor, and this is in dark mode. So I want to show you first the um, digital cockpit. Audi is known for the best um, graphics. It is a shiny, there's small reflection, but it's very good, very sharp uh, design. So in very sharp graphics, you can see here, if I use the little wheel to change, so this is just three parts, so this is why the consumption was like maximum. So you can see here stuff like that. Range, um, the battery is at 100%, so a lot less range. Okay, I think it BMS uh, calculates something on the consumption. Uh, radio stations, and then you can have your phone if you connect or navigation on the side. So you can have this view. Same here, you can see the car, and then that in the middle, and then you can have this, so it's kind of cool. So two views, and that's it. There's also different screen options, but we're gonna cover those a bit later. Now, coming to the side, oh, look at this, there's ambient lights over here on the side as well. Actually, there is a ambient light on the top there, you can see it here a little bit better on the bottom. E-tron lightens up and then over there on the bottom. So it's a little hard to show because there's a lot of light in the salon. Before I cover the top screen, I just want to show you here. So you have ventilated seats. Oh, I wish I had this on my Tesla. This is very practical in summer. Um, heated seats on the bottom. Uh, maximum below, rear defrost. For the passenger, automatic or manual air recirculation. You have your temperature, really nice clicks. Fan speed. And then you have the uh, air condition off, on, echo or max. Um, and over here you can change the air direction, but just leave it on automatic, then it'll blow through all directions. And this is the same principle to close open and adjust now on the bottom traction control let's see what happens if I press it I don't think anything's happening let's see the cameras so there you go 360 view around you can have 3d Ooh, look at this wow that's something so you're gonna have a 3d preview of the car the avatar is not the same color but or you can change like the angles. Ooh, look at this. So you can have this, that, with the projection of the steering wheel for the rear. Very, very practical. You can even see the sides when you're close to the curb. So that's impressive, I gotta say. Camera graphics, you can have the sensors as well. Low, medium, volume, maneuver assist. So that's the camera, 360. 
And over here you have the self-parking. I'm not gonna add, uh, turn on that on. You can turn off the screen if you wanna uh, clear those smudges. And you have the drive select on the bottom. So what do we got here? We have the efficiency. And you can lower or raise the air suspension. We have a comfort, we have dynamic, and we have a, the individual you can customize. Now in the individual, you can customize uh, drive system, suspension, and sound profile. So there we go. That's cool. Okay, so I think we've covered this. Let me just see this one. So this is for the park. You have here, let me just press the brake. So this is off. Let me just turn it on once again. Neutral. So the car is making a sound. Drive. So you can see drive, neutral, reverse. Turns on the camera zone. Neutral. So let me just hear the reverse sound. So there is like this buzzing sound. Yep. So over here we have a buttons, but they don't uh, lighten up. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so start stop button. And these two buttons, so you can see park, there's like some sort of other buttons that don't illuminate at some point. Um, at this point, excuse me. And then the volume. So there are commercials now, I'm gonna skip that later. Uh, and let's focus on the uh, MMI screen. So this is your home screen. Uh, this is the th third generation of MIB. So you have here shortcuts. Let me see here if I can find another station maybe. Uh, okay. Um, so I think these are DAB. Let me see. So, sounds like a very good uh, audio system, Bang & Olufsen, of course, and can't play for too long, not to get a copyright strike, so you have here radio shortcuts, you can put on sounds, like click sounds when you are using that, you can swipe here for pages, uh, radio stations, DAB and FM, you can have media, again Bluetooth, USB, connections, you can connect your phone, I uh, use Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, navigation. Navigation is really great. You have online traffic information. You have a lot of options. Map settings. So let me just show you the day. A little brighter. So you can see here the view as well for the maps. And now what's also cool is you can press here and then you can map settings. You can come and turn off the satellite. So there you go. Satellite and then uh, the night. Uh, just dims the satellite image or it's uh, black uh, you can have traffic information sorry for the screen <laughs> um, map colors okay 2d 3d overview i'll zoom uh, route criteria you can hear just avoid tools ferries stuff like that each one route planner on route information presentation mode okay voice guidance there's like sounds and stuff like that um, you can type in here and then you can uh, type space is nice in the middle or you can uh, draw here um, oh maybe not just change you have here a DC and AC charging stations so I guess it just lists the closest ones um, never mind so let's come back um, so over here you have free shortcuts for the music radio phone calls and navigation Sorry, and um, let's continue on. Phone apps, so again, as mentioned, uh, for wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, you need the Bluetooth. Uh, I think for the Android, you need to use the cable. Uh, here's the demo of the Apple CarPlay. Very sharp graphics, really impressed. Uh, you can here see the home screen. Uh, it's laggy because my phone is my camera. Uh, when it's not connected or not using the camera, it's really fast, but you can see the graphics. It's really nice. You can use your calendars, apps, Google Maps, 
Um, you can use plug shirt to see where the charging stations are. And you can always check ways to see uh, where the speed traps are and the police uh, radars, but uh, it's pretty cool. And the shortcut here, but again, a little bit laggy because of the uh, fact that I'm filming with a camera. And then you can see when you plug your uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, then it shows you the little avatar and it works. And people ask, can you use it on the digital screen, on the, excuse me, uh, digital cockpit? No, you cannot, so sorry. Uh, maybe that's something Audi should add in the future. Car settings, Audi drive selected covered car details. Uh, range, how much you could save if you turn on the AC, charging efficiency, charging over here. So everyday use, long distance, you can program here. Departure times, you can tell the car to unlock after charging, but it's better to have it locked so you can unlock with a key, pressing the unlock button twice. That way someone cannot unplug your car on purpose. Seats, so we have here, you can choose either the side passenger or the driver. You can control the side bolsters and easy entry. It's pretty neat. AC profiles, auxiliary air conditioner that you can program if you're uh, traveling to work in the morning, coming back, driver, passenger, and ionization, extended ventilation zone. So lights and vision. Um, over here we have the automatic headlights. Uh, you can change the colors here, so uh, you have like only surface, and then you have like 30 colors you can choose. So that's there's like a whole palette of colors, and you can have the foldable white or in the color. There's a lot of color options here with the names, exterior lightings, automatic lights, and that's that's the stuff for the light controls parking aid so here is the just read that pause if you want to read it driver assistance maximum individual or basic so let's see here you have a list so you can read all the uh, functionalities here from the screen and um, second page Settings and services, park brake, air suspension, wheel change, central locking. So there's no service here that I found and I was looking. I have favorites here. Going back, uh, just not to forget, on the top you have a pull down menu. So you can update your online maps. Should have an OTA update. This is for the spoiler. So you can see it, but I've lowered it now. Over here you have also time and date always. Um, and you have your LTE connection paid by Audi. Software update, so you can uh, update the maps. Um, I'm still not sure if it has OTA updates. I believe it should have it. Or if it doesn't, you should go to the service and they'll install that. Um, and then um, we have the favorites. You can put a favorite for your... Uh, screen here and we have can have that efficiency uh, assist on the first page and here on the settings we have general information these are units uh, stuff like that I'm not going to go through this display and brightness MMI virtual cockpit virtual cockpit so you have here look at this so you can have the classical, uh, you can have this one without the accents, or you can have the uh, exclusive e-transport uh, engage uh, there. MMI, oh, well, this is just, you can have the click sounds or just turn them off. And for the screen cleaning, another shortcut. You can have multiple users if it's a company car or a, um, if you share with the fa inside the family. Keyboards, languages, I'm going to go for that system maintenance, software update. Again, another shortcut for this, but I haven't found the updates for the car. Sound settings, you have here middle treble. Um, if you mute it, then you can't see it, but you can adjust here and like 
where you want the sound inside the car. Uh, connection settings, you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, uh, data plans, um, stuff like that. So I'm going to try wrapping it up here because um, you can have all this navigation settings, phone settings, context messages, and data management, statistics. Okay, so I guess no. And... Um, so I think there was something else that I wanted to show you. Okay, so it is um, on the other side. So we have weather information, uh, local weather information by Meto Group. It's going to load. It's a little bit slow, but there you go. You can see your local forecast. Um, you can read news. Your Google Assistant will read you news. Uh, you can have if, um, uh, <clears throat> emergency assistance. We get information messages to users, calendars. So that was basically it. That's the whole infotainment there. I hope you uh, like this. Now I'm gonna switch it off and exit and show you the frunk. Uh, okay, before I do forgot it, not sure if I forgot it, but I think I did. So uh, this is the front head space. Very nice, spacious even for a two meter tall person. Now let's exit, then you have this Audi sound to make it more dramatic. After closing the frameless doors, just close, top it here because you're going to leave finger smudges. Now before I do pop the front, um, I just wanted to show you the other side charging port. So this is for the fast charging, as you can see, so this is your uh, combined CCS for uh, DC fast charging or this is just slow for uh, AC now um, in order to open the frunk again as mentioned you have that button here press that to open and then you have on the left side uh, you have to push it to the right so the, the, this system now I'm sorry for a little shake now I can show you the car and the frame you can see um, this opens very tall gas frets what's nice is this I think this is aluminium and even this because I have a magnetic uh, stand so I was trying to hook for this I think they've uh, used a lot of aluminium to save on the weight so that's good for an electric car and uh, if I'm not mistaken 85 liters of frunk space this is very practical and I'm really proud that Audi has made a frunk uh, that's really useful like on a Tesla uh, actually he even has uh, slightly almost the same space Tesla Model 3 has 117 liters but it's a little bit different shape so this looks deeper there's a light here you have here emergency patching kit on the sides uh, actually two of them and I think this might be how it is uh, yeah so here's the first aid and you have here for towing as well so this is not for this kind of type of towing uh, and you have your emergency triangle over there have a nice uh, uh, gasket here and over here i believe this is uh, brake fluid supposedly uh, there's a nice rubber here to prevent dust from coming inside this is the air intake for the uh, ventilation and now the car is hooked up to a 12 volt uh, charger for the battery because it does have a 12 volt battery which is uh over there and you can see the internals so uh, there's another here uh, this is the coolant so that's it this is tucked in like this because the car is plugged to a charger this is standard in salons and close it up so you drop it and then you just slightly press until you hear a click so that was the whole car i think it's really impressive and i can't wait if i get a chance to test one because it's a very impressive and just those details, the sports look, the design, the quality, 
uh, I'm really impressed. Um, I saw some reviews of the range, it's fairly good, but if you drive fast, uh, like all electric cars, you're gonna be short with the juice. But luckily, I think Audi charges up to something like 290 kilowatts max charging speed. I'm gonna check myself, it might be even higher, but it's something close to 300 kilowatts. So you should be good in like a few minutes uh, to go if you're on a long uh, trips. So that shouldn't be a problem either. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, type them below. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If it did, smash the like button. Share the video with your friends. Share them on Audi forums. Helps me a lot with the algorithm. And uh, as always, stay safe on the road at home. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.